all of the animals that I care for here, the birds, they're sort of like children in a strange way, um, but we really do feel that attached to them. Hi, my name's James. I'm a falconer here at Warwick Castle, and that means that I have one of the best jobs in the world because I get to look after 60 species of birds of prey every single day, and I love it. So my role here is uh, as a falconer. Uh, falconers have worked at the castle for centuries now, um, but what we do today is a little bit different than what they would have done, say, in the 15th century. Here we present two shows daily. Uh, I've probably been here now for about six years. Um, I started just after I finished university uh, and I work here five days a week in the winter time, six days a week in the summer time. We have roughly 60 birds of prey here on site. So that means a team of four of us uh, will be looking after those birds from the very wee hours in the morning right until the evening. So Rosie, our beautiful Andy and Condor, uh, arrived here six years ago. Uh, when I first met Rosie, she was around about the size of a football and she was covered in downy fluff. Uh, she was a baby chick, so she was only about two months old. When she reached full size, that was around about a year later, they grew up quite slowly, Andy and Condors, we took her to North Yorkshire. Now this is our secondary base where we train uh, and fly. Uh, all of our birds of prey. It's sort of like flight school, if you like. So Rosie is actually an enormous species of raptor. She is the largest species of bird of prey in the world. Uh, she sports a 10 and a half foot wingspan. Um, I'm six foot, so when her wings are fully unfurled, uh, she's a lot uh, taller than me uh, in the span. Uh, when we fly her over the audience here, the reaction is just incredible because not only do you see this enormous pterodactyl flying over the top of your head but you also get a noise as she goes past it's like a swarm of bees it makes a whoosh noise as she goes over the top of people's heads and seeing people's reactions and when they look round and you know they're in awe and shock most of them have never seen an Andean condor most of them probably never knew that a bird that size existed so it's really really enjoyable for me to see people enjoy her fly so much having known her for six years I'd say we are pretty close um, she follows me around absolutely everywhere she still sort of thinks that I'm her dad as well um, which is immensely rewarding um, and she really is a joy to work with in terms of her diet uh, it's quite varied so we'll feed all of our birds of prey a very very mixed diet indeed they'll have things like rabbits squirrels pigeons, pheasant, uh, venison, even a bit of turkey at Christmas as well as a bit of a treat. So working at Warwick Castle is unlike any other job that I can imagine. Uh, we're sort of like a big family here, so all of the animals that I care for here, the birds, they're sort of like children in a strange way, um, but we really do feel that attached to them. So every morning when we come in, um, they'll greet us, they call to us and say hello. Um, and we do have a very personal connection with each and every individual. It, it's amazingly rewarding for me, I think, when you get to know each individual on such a personal basis. Um, that's probably the most rewarding part of the job, to be honest with you, when, when you feel like you've, you've learned so much about this animal and, and you really understand them. Part of our job, essentially is to understand these animals and you know understand you know their wants and needs um, and and that's how we keep them happy hand rearing rosie she essentially does think that i am her dad um, i'm probably a bit nicer than most condor dads would be we would take rosie for walks as soon as she was mobile and could start using her legs and romping around we'd go for a walk in the castle grounds every single morning which we we still do and she does very much enjoy doing that um, and she flies in the shows, obviously, that's really to fulfill her exercise needs. Every now and then we do have a cuddle as well because Rosie is insanely cute um, and is a really, really lovely character. Um, she, you're not meant to have favourites. I know everybody says they don't have favourite children, but if I did, it would probably be Rosie. 